Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Terrible Tuesday. I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. I hope you're uh, um, uh, going to enjoy today's review. I don't know what you guys are going to think of it. Um, it's one that I'm going to have a little bit of a... Uh, a tough time uh, with as far as my review because I had such a hard time with this film and it uh, um, for everything that was good about it, it it wasn't enough to basically justify everything that was bad it, it had a lot of really bad bad stuff to it it was very dull very boring um, I found myself almost falling asleep at one point um, not really one that I that I care for and it's crazy to think that this one made its its way onto the uh, the uh, BBFC's video nasties list. Um, the only thing I can think of is because there has to do a, a lot with decapitated heads in it. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, other than that, it's it's quite dull. Um, it feels almost like a, uh, a, a a rated R television movie in ways. It's it's um, not not something I ever would suggest to anyone, um, especially if they're just starting out on on slashers, eighty slashers, or uh, just even the video nasties list. Which I would like to do more of those. Those are um, a lot of fun. There's some great titles on there. there we got Cannibal Holocaust and Ferox. We got uh, uh, Hell of the Living Dead, we got Zombie Flesh Eaters, <laughs> same movie, um, we got all kinds of stuff on there, there's some great stuff, uh, uh, I'm trying to think Deep Red's on there, um, uh, The Werewolf and the Yeti, which I've never seen that one, and I've never seen Miss You Hugs and Kisses, that one, those are the two I haven't seen, um, off the list that I can think of. Uh, otherwise, I've I've seen there. Oh, don't go near the park. That's another one I haven't seen yet. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on that one, so that's why I haven't jumped on that one yet. Uh, after Toxic Zombies, um, I was I wasn't really feeling it because Toxic Zombies kind of sucked too. <laughs> um, now let's get on to today's movie. I have blabbered for over two minutes about other things. Um, this one's from 1981. It was filmed in the spring of 1980. I did uh, uh, read something about that. That was um, before I was born, just just uh, a few short months. Um, and then who we got in here? We got Leonard Mann. We got Rachel Ward, D. Snyder. Drew Snyder, not D. Snyder, not D. Snyder of of uh, Twisted Twisted um, Sister Fame, not that one. Uh, and Joseph Sicari, and this is directed by Ken Hughes, which, by the way, this is his last film he ever directed, and that is none other than Night School. Um, this one here is part of the Warner Archives collection. Um, they call it's the remastered edition. Um, I don't know exactly what's what's different between the uh, the VHS version and this one because I don't believe there was another DVD for this one. I think it was only for this Warner Archives collection. I could be very, very wrong. Um, if you guys uh, know of any other releases of this, please let me know. And if it's comparable to this one, like as far as picture quality and sound goes, because this one, it was, eh, it was okay. You know, it, it is what it is. Um, being part of the Warner Archives collection, um, it is not a double-sided revert or double-sided artwork as usual. Um, their artwork on these are pretty basic. Um, as far as what you get there, there's zero, zero, count them, zero special features. You don't even get a trailer for the film. Um, another th another downfall to the disc is it is a DVD-R manufactured on demand. So if you don't like DVD-Rs, then steer clear from the Warner Archive collection because each and every one of them are DVD-R, BDRs. They're, they're all made on demand. They're not... Um, uh, uh, factory pressed, which is, uh, it kind of sucks, but, you know, sometimes I understand how, how that works out, because sometimes it's, um, it costs too much money to do a mass production of something, when you can, when you can do, like, 
um, uh, 300 of something or 500 of something when that's that's uh, uh, a much more limited release than something like um, a 1500 or a 5000 like what some of them are um, I think uh, I have a Suspiria one that's it's a numbered one and it's like out of 5000 or 5500 or something like that which is it's a lot a lot a lot a lot which makes it not so limited in 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 hindsight i don't understand how you can make someone something that limit something limited that has so, that much um uh, uh content to it and and still call it or, or and and have it that wide of a uh, uh distribution on it they should have cut back on that one and cut done like maybe 2500 or 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 two two thousand you know um now this one, what is it about? Um, it is basically about uh, all these these different different ladies that are going to night school, um, which is pretty obvious by the title of the of the 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 uh, film. Um, now, one somebody in a uh, in a uh, uh, like a leather biker jacket and a biker hat, and he's using a uh, the killer's using a uh, uh, what did they call it? A uh, Gurkha knife, a Gurkha blade, which is kind of it's kind of a weird shaped blade. Um, it is used for um, for both cutting and it's used as a tool for for something else. I forget exactly what it is. I was kind of reading up a little bit on it. Um, either way, it's more known as a weapon than anything else. Um, so the killer is running around wearing that. You wearing. The uh, the attire I, I described and killing people with the Gurkha knife, um, cutting off their heads. What was the other name of it? A Kirk a Kirkuri Kirkuri knife. Um, I, I don't like that one. Gurkha sounds much funner. Um, <laughs> say that with me, guys. Can you say Gurkha? Nice. Isn't that fun? That's a that's a fun little word. Um, speaking of words, I, I get a chuckle out of this. A is for apple, B is for bed, C is for co-ed, D is for dead, and F is for failing to keep your head. Um, whoever wrote that is, is very boring. Um, you could have done much better things for, for, um, for A and B. Um, co-ed, C for co-ed fits in there perfect because, um, it is a co-ed's night school. Um, there's a whole thing that has to do with uh, uh, the one of the teachers knocked up one of the students, and that's this one here, and uh, uh, the whole story between that and how he's trying to sever the relationship, and it goes horribly wrong. You know, it's one of those you know exactly what route it's going. Um, as soon as it gets towards the end, you, it's obvious who the killer is. Um, at first they do a pretty good job of hiding that until you start, uh, unfolding some of the story and it's like, oh yeah, it's totally that person. Uh, and then there's a little, little thing at the end with how they end it, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I thought it was kind of stupid and pointless and it never, it didn't really, um, uh, uh, hit a home run like what it should for being a uh, a video nasty. The one, like I said, the one thing about this that that is its saving grace is all the decapitated heads. Um, I think you got like one, two, three, four. <laughs> excuse me, like five, I believe, in there, maybe six, um, maybe four. But either way, there four through four to six um, decapitated heads. It's pretty good um, little uh, 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 he uh, head count, I guess. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> As a matter of fact, they call him the head, the killer, the head hunter. And at one point, there's this at the very, very final scene. There's this dorky, dorky, terrible joke of a scene where. Um, the, the cop that catches the, the, uh, uh, killer is, is getting into his car and somebody pops up out of the back and grabs him by the back of the head and is acting like they're going to cut his head off. And it turns out to be, it's his partner, uh, just playing a joke on him. Oh, I'm the head hunter. Ah. And then, you know, it ends right there. Um, kind of a weird little ending in my opinion. Um, 
you know, like I said, I don't suggest this one. Uh, it's it's hard to watch. Um, let's get over on my tech or my ratings on this thing. I'm coming up on that 10 minute mark, and I'm ha I'm struggling for words on how to describe this this thing of a film. Um, as far as technical side goes, it's it's filmed rather well. I will give it that. It's nice and polished. It's got some um, great production value. I would like to see it. Um, on a uh, a better a better quality picture, um, maybe the blue maybe there's a Blu-ray of this. I I'm not sure if Warner is doing a blue on it or not. If so, I, maybe it'll be a little better. I really doubt it, um, being that it's supposed to be remastered. Um, so let's say let's give it a three on the technical side. It's it's middle of the road. Um, on that one through five, it's it's not mind blowing, but it is enough to keep keep a uh, somebody who enjoys uh, film for film. It'll keep keep them at least entertained enough for to to make it through it. Um, now, as far as m my entertainment side, um, it's very hard to get through. <laughs> Um, only the reason I'm able to get through is because of my love for film and how much I wanted to review this for, for you guys. I was originally planning on doing it yesterday. Uh, then I rewatched it and, and I remembered, oh yeah, this movie's terrible. So we're going to do it on Terrible Tuesday because I did, do not like it. Um, it's one of the worst video nasties I have seen and I have seen some bad ones I've seen uh, what, what do we got human experiments is pretty bad um, uh, gosh what else is there toxic zombies was god awful <laughs> anyways get the hell out of here um, what, what do I want to give it a two two out of five it's kind of boring now, yeah, two out of five. That's pretty. That's that's reasonable. So we'll give this a five out of ten. That's that's reasonable enough. I think it's it's worth that at least. Um, with the the decapitated heads is what um, gives it at least that two. Um, otherwise, it would be a one on how dull it is. Um, it could easily pass off as some some drama that plays on late night television that uh, has a killer in it. You just remove the, the decapitated heads and that's what you got. Pretty boring. Anyways, get the hell out of here. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I got some things to do today. It is too Terrible Tuesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to watch for tomorrow. I already have Friday lined up. Uh, tomorrow and Thursday are the only days I don't have... Um, Anything picked, I might do extra on one of these days. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, guys. Love your faces. Can't wait to see you to tomorrow. Peace.